फिफ्थ प्रॉब्लम इफ द फंक्शन एफ मैप्स आर टू आर डिफाइंड बाय एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर पावर एक्स बाय फोर पावर एक्स प्लस टू देन शो दैट शो दैट f of 1 minus x equals to 1 minus f of x and hence deduce the value of f of 1 by 4 Plus two into f of one by two plus f of three by four. Solution. Now, given. f of x is equal to four power x by four power x plus two. So in this case, better to find out first f of one minus x value. So f of one minus x, that is four to the power of one minus x, four to the power of one minus x plus two. So this is equal to. 4 by 4 power x by 4 by 4 power x plus 2. So this we can write 4 by 4 power x multiplied by 4 power x come up by 4 plus 2 into 4 power x. This 4 power x, 4 power x gets cancelled. 4 by 2 common, we get 4 power x plus 2. Again, 2 one zero, 2 two zero. That is 2 by 4 power x plus 2. This is f of 1 minus x value. So now, let us find out. f of x plus f of 1 minus x value f of x is given as 4 power x by 4 power x plus 2 plus this is 2 by 4 power x plus 2 since f of 1 minus x is this one so 4 power x plus 2 is the lcm 4 power x plus 2 so we get 1 so f of 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus f of x this has been proved so now we have to find out that value f of 3 by 4 so that is equal to f of 1 minus 3 by 4 Equals to one minus three by four. So this implies f of one by four equal to one minus f of three by four. This we will get it. F of one by four value equal to one minus f of three by four. Now, f of one by two, f of one by two plus f of 
1 by 2 equals to 1. So, 2 f of 1 by 2 equals to 1. Therefore, f of 1 by 4 plus 2 into f of 1 by 2 plus f of 3 by 4 equals to 1 minus f of 3 by 4 this value is equal to 1 plus f of 3 by 4 this plus f of 3 by 4 minus f of 3 by 4 cancel we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Sixth problem. If the function f maps set minus 1 comma 1 to 0 comma 2 set defined by f of x is equal to a x plus b is a surjection then find a and b here f maps a to b for example say a that is b a to b is a surjection that means this is a this is b minus 1 1 0 2 minus 1 maps 0 1 maps 2 this is a f function and formula is given by f of x is equal to a x plus b we know that image of minus 1 is 0. So, f of minus 1 is equal to 0 that implies minus a plus b is equal to 0 say equation 1. Image of 1 is 2 f of 1 is equal to 2 2a plus b is equal to 2 solving 1 and 2 solving 1 and 2 we get the values of a and b 2a plus b is equal to 2 minus a plus b is equal to 0 subtracting this minus becomes plus plus becomes minus this cancel 3a is equal to 2 so, a equal to 2 by 3. Now, substitute a is equal to 2 by 3 in first equation. a is equal to 2 by 3. Put a is equal to 2 by 3 in equation 1. So, here b is equal to a. So, both are same 2 by 3. Therefore, b is equal to 2 by 3. Hence, a is equal to 2 by 3 and b is equal to 2 by 3. Seventh question. If f of x is equal to cos of log x, then show that show that f of 1 by x 
multiplied by f of 1 by y minus half times f of x by y plus f of x y equals to 0. So, let us prove it. Given f of x is equal to cos of log x. Now, take left hand side f of 1 by x, f of 1 by y and minus half times f of x by y plus f of x y. This equals to f of 1 by x means cos of log of 1 by x. This is similarly cos of log of 1 by y minus half times cos of log of x by y plus cos of log x y. This is x power minus 1. So, we get cos of minus log x cos of minus theta plus cos theta only. So, we get cos of log x. Similarly, this one also cos of log y minus of times log of x y y means log x minus log y cos of log x plus log y. But by y means here this becomes minus whereas this is cos of log x y means log x plus log y. So, in compound angles we have one formula cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b. So, we have one formula cos of a plus b plus cos of a minus b or cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b equals to 2 cos a cos b. Using this formula, now here we can write cos of log x cos of log y minus half times. So, here a means log x, b means log y using that formula. Now, we can substitute a for log x, b for log y. So, now 2 cos of log x cos of log y 2 2 gets cancelled we have cos of log x cos of log y minus cos of log x cos of log y. Both are same cos of log x cos of log y minus cos of log x cos of log y both will be gets cancelled. So, we get 0 this is RHS. Hence, it is proved. So, now so far in functions in exercise 1a, all the problems we have discussed.